Yo, this is sparing myself the pain, a rundown of all the negative things that I'll miss out on by being a marriage-free and child-free woman. Let's get into it. Painful thing number 13, limited personal space. Personal space is way too important to me to compromise on, like space inside the house and also space around my actual body. Now, I see these videos that all of these mommies post on social media showing their uh, kids just hanging off of them, sitting on their lap or, you know, arms around the neck, uh, hanging on to their legs like little koalas or something, and that, that would piss me off. I don't find it cute at all that, you know, just always have somebody uh, touching me and hanging off of me. I don't really like being touched anyway. At least not like that. You know, I see these videos and photos they post being uh, followed to the bathroom. They have, like, sticking their little fingers on the door while their mother is sitting on the toilet. Them hiding in closets just to have a minute of peace. And it's like, I'm not willing to live this way. No, I'm not going to hide in the closet or going to hide in the bathroom just to have a moment of peace to not have somebody either always asking for something, always wanting something, always touching me, grabbing on me, and just pulling on me. That I would I would go off. I would go the fuck off. And it's like, you, you can't talk to little kids any kind of way. Teenagers, you can... You can be a bit more direct with them, not to say that you can just be nasty and rude, but you can, like, say, you know, like, I, I, I need a minute. I need, like, you know, 20 minutes of not being bothered. You can tell a teenager that, like, for the next 30 minutes, don't bother me. I don't want to hear it. But, you know, you can't really say stuff like that to kids who obviously can't tell time. You know, these are toddlers and preschool age kids who haven't learned how to tell time yet, so they don't know what 30 minutes is. And then you have these kids who are always just constantly pulling and grabbing and touching. And then, ex then you know, you have your husband who expects affection. They expect to be hugged and kissed. And they expect intimacy or whatever the hell. But it's like, there is no way I would feel like giving that sort of attention and affection and love to a man. If I've had a bunch of kids pulling and poking on me all day. I would want to run away. I would just jump in my car and leave and never come back. The thought of having people just touching me all day long seriously makes me, it just makes me cringe. It makes me want to curl up in a ball in the bottom of a dark closet and just stay there. You know, when you're, you know, when you're married, you have to compromise on the living situation, like the type of house that you get. I would prefer a house that has one level, but he might want something with, you know, two, two living levels plus an attic and a basement. You have to compromise on the house and all of the, the decor and all of the shared spaces, like the living room, bathroom, kitchen. You know, you have to compromise on the furniture, on the, the paint colors. You know, that you, you might not have space for a hobby room. I mean, I have a hobby. But, you know, if you have any sort of hobby that requires a bit of space and you just want that space to yourself without anyone else intruding on it, you may or may not have that space. You know, it just, it sounds incredibly stressful being trapped in a situation where you're sharing space with these other people. And then you have nowhere to escape to. The only way that you can escape to have, you know, a moment of peace or a moment of space to yourself is by, pretty much by sitting in your car. Now, what kind of bullshit is that? Like, you just want to be left alone for a few minutes and you have to go and sit in your car. That doesn't sound like a life worth living to me. It really doesn't. It sounds like, like punishment, like a form of torture. You know, when your your spouse or your kids want a hug or want attention, affection, whatever it, you know, 
you're pretty much agreeing to give them that once you decide to get married and have kids. It's not that, you know, you get married, you have kids, and then you can just constantly uh, run away from them or hide from them. I would cringe. I cringe now. When people walk too close to me or sit next to me, like if I'm out somewhere and somebody sits like directly beside me, even if I know them, I still cringe. Well, this is not something that, I, that I'm capable of doing because I know that I will blow up. I will go off and tell them to leave them the fuck alone. And you can't talk to little kids like that. So it's just best for everybody that I just, you know, never have any. Remember, your life is yours to live and you don't have to explain yourself to anyone.